This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. This is a VMG update. I want to talk about the motor controller. Uh, what I have here on the motor controller is this board right here. This motor is currently running on only one battery. This board is set up. These board uh, connections here all represent one 44 amp hour telecom battery, about the size of a car battery. So we're only feeding off of one, and I can show you it is the input and the output battery. I'll pull that off of there. You can see it takes a while for the light to go out, but hook it back up, reset the controller. You can hear the difference in the motor kick back in. So currently the battery is a real minuscule draw on the battery. I mean you can see it. It's a 12 volt battery. It was sitting at about 12.5. So the drawdown on the battery is pretty slight compared to other configurations I've set up. So what it is is the inverter is using these 98, 9,800 microfarad 20 volt caps. And the output of the motor of the VMG is feeding into this circuit board. And at the same time, it's also running to from the batteries and the meter, which is the bottom meter there. So in parallel, right here, what you have is you have the battery, the inverter board, and the meter. And the current comes into the cap first through this circuit breaker into the inverter board, which is only rated at a couple hundred watts. So the inverter board is then feeding a step down transformer, which is being rectified and then fed into this other cap. And now this side of the cap coming off of the inverted board feeds right back into the input and then that's the other meter. So the circuit is when we add a generator hopefully it'll be self-sustaining but right now the, the pulses are being fed from the output of the motor into the battery, or actually into the cap, because the the battery, the current flow currently is from the battery. We're on a draw right now, so it's drawing energy from the battery, but the the circuit is pulsing into the cap. So all that is being fed into the cap, and then through the inverter board, through the step down transformer, into the second cap, and then that's powering the motor so it is a one battery circuit and this is working really well the drawdown is great it hardly you know, hardly see it move I mean it if you look at it you can see it's just bouncing between six and seven there and um, we're reutilizing the energy from the motor back into the circuit this way and uh, this is the one wire Bedini circuit, <laughs> one battery Bedini uh, motor circuit. So this is real easy to replicate if any of you guys want to try it. Uh, I'll be posting some stuff to help. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of a project which I have a software release due out at the beginning of 2010 here. So I'm trying to get that done before the holidays hit and I'll have more time to really give you a breakdown of everything that's going on including some schematics and some wiring uh, 3D blow-ups that will give you the ability to to look at it in real time and that should make it a little easier. The motor is a 24 circuit motor and um, let me show you a few things here. The caps the caps. The, um, 
diodes we're using are just the 07 uh, diodes that everybody uses. So we use them on the chip as well as on the output. The output's tied to this plate, so it's tied to the bottom of that point right there in three points, and then that feeds back into the output. So basically, the resistance of the circuit is uh, the rheostat is only 100, 120 ohms, and then I have fireproof, fireproof uh, 10 ohm resistors feeding the trigger circuit. So the whole circuit is not a thousand ohms or 500 ohms. We're only talking a hundred, between a hundred and 150 ohms on the circuit. They were all mounted along each chip, right? Because now it's being fed into a cap. So I will mount a cap on it and then create a switch so I can condition. And then the normal setup would be into the cap. And then you don't need the protection of the neon bulb if you're all constantly feeding a cap. So. Uh, the motor has plenty of torque. Give you a look here. It'll fly. Now remember, this is only on a 12 volt. See, it's drawn down here because I've cranked it up, but uh, it's not that great of a draw. back up. The bottom one's the inverter, uh, the battery. The top one is the output of the inverter. So the way it's wired currently is the control board allows me to run one battery. I guess that's all I got for now. Um, wanted to give you guys a chance to see where we're at and as soon as I can I, I will be posting the other material but I have to deal with issues with work and a software release at the beginning of the year so I'm kind of limited in how much time I can spend on this until I get a break on the holidays here oh I'll show you this real quick this little plug right here thing is uh, a coil wrapped around a ferrite, um, small ferrite cylinder with a small thin wire and that's feeding over here and what this is is um, visual analyzer now a lot of you said this is uh, this software is not really got the resolution required but it does give me the frequency uh, up here so I am if you can see here let me change the frequency you can see how it uh, you can tell the adjustment of the frequency so you can easily dial it into a point when you're doing tests um, so and obviously it won't stay in sync when you change the speed of the motor but you can dial it in and seems to work fine so it's running through a standard PC it's only 700 megahertz junky old Pentium 2 machine um, and a decent soundboard and then I put it in a rack so I could roll it around in here so but that's about it for now um, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out <laughs>